he admits that he was dropping the loan. No way. Stop it, Wax. Stop it. <laughs> hey, 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 I read through the whole indictment. It said co-conspirator four. His job was to drop the location of the hotel and any significant spot that he had to drop on that Quando went. They dropped a they dropped a clothing place supposedly on Mel Melrose. So they were. And, and by the way, I read through the whole thing. That's the only co-conspirator that never traveled, that seemed local, that's already there. So maybe some Chicago nigga that was out there for a while, but it feels like this might be a West Coast guy. I don't know, though. Before we get back to the audio, you already know what to do. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Listen, man, Lil, they say Lil Dirk was trying to flee the country, said he booked like three different flights, was hoping nobody knew where he was at. And this is crazy. And they trying to figure out who is this co-conspirator is that was dropping the location and some people like whack 100 of them they believe that it was brick baby man let's get back to the audio let's go yeah i don't think hey listen man everybody else from chicago they traveled they got on flights they did everything they booked the room i'm not saying that it's brick baby but i'm saying number four sound like somebody that was landed planted already in l.a now watch this okay but watch this whack i told you <clears throat> no hold on let me do the timeline i'm gonna pass it to you Luce. He get killed 2022, right? Late. February 2023, the world, when he got killed, we thought it was a bad weed deal with some Armenians and Persians. Right. This is what we all thinking. This fool mm -hmm. goes on the show with Flacco and says, at least they can't say OTF didn't fly no more. Flacco said, what you talking about? He throws a name out. He said, no, the dude that got killed with Kwando. They can't say OTF didn't slide no more. He's the first one to put it on OTF. Okay, that's February. Four right. months later, four months later, loose cannon. Tell him what happens in June, four months later. See, four months later, see, Brick Baby, they hit Brick Baby house. Once they hit Brick Baby house, they gonna get that AK. Once they get that AK, Brick Baby end up telling everything. And then he end up having a conversation with 600 to get the nigga Big Useless wrapped up too. So 600, you tell him what Zaire Mitchell told you. Who's Zaire Mitchell? That's Brick Baby. Brick Baby. Oh man. Yeah, so what Zaire yeah. Mitchell tell you when they release him from the face? So so when he get out, <laughs> listen, this is what happened. He like, bro, they uh they got Big U on the Rico. I'm like, what? He like, yeah, bro, it's ugly gang. They want cuz in jail. They tied cuz to a hot one out there. Woo, woo, woo. I'm like, yeah, he's like, yeah, we got the same lawyer. It's ugly for cuz. You know what I mean? It's all bad. He was like, but listen, you ain't got nothing to worry about. It ain't no 6 0 Rico. It's a big you Rico. Everybody he been fing with. I said, ooh, it's now, ugly. Stop. Stop. <laughs> when Quando leaves LA after the shooting and returns back to Georgia, what does Quando do? Loose cannon. Drop he said he don't want to bang no more. What did he find out? He found out that now homies was putting drops on him, sending his locations. Yo, where you at? Where you at, huh? I'm gonna be honest with you. Luz put me on to this because I remember even when he was talking about, I mean, you know, obviously I'm not from, I'm not from the West and I'm not like a street dude like that. But when he was explaining to me some of the tactics that's on the West, and he was even saying how, like, say for example, the Meat Mill situation got lined, and I'm like, wait. So you tell me the guy you check in with could line you up? I never knew that was a thing. I thought that that was like an oxymoron. Now I kind of realize I'm like, well, that would probably be for like a non, you know, member of, of, of what, what, what they are. Boy, it's Schoolboy Q did an interview, right? Not too long ago I seen it. He said, y'all dudes is falling off for this check-in thing with some dude somebody put you with that you don't even know then you don't even know that the dudes they putting you with is the ones lining you up. Now it's different act if you got a relationship with somebody. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. different. But if like you like, yo, I'm going to LA, talking to your boy, yo, get with my homie. And you put, you don't know if this dude got hard times. You don't know what's going on with this dude. <clears throat> he knows this other dude got an issue with you. That's a bag. Quando was a crib. Why would other yeah. crips out of a crip? That would make no sense. The biggest killer of a crip has always been a crip. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> yo, yo, what's the saying, uh, Luz? You ain't you a ain't six. A real, you ain't a real six on until you kill one. Yo, that, King Yellow. That's a, a fact. That's no, this real. This is why we didn't woke up like 
wait, wait, hold on, whack. Could you adjust the timeline for me? Because even when I was going through the timeline, I know there's a certain point that I've seen Quando sit down with Big U. Is this before the little pop thing or after? And no, how does that happen? Before, that's when Big U and went to like Breakfast Club or something and exposed Quando's text message. Oh yes, that's true. You're right. Right. You're right. And 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 Quando felt some type of way about it, and uh, somebody called him on it. Loose might know some details on that. And Big U kind of like he might a lightweight apologize because he seen Quando on the rise. Quando up on the NBA. NBA ain't with Big U. No, but hmm. Quando Rondo was gonna tell on everything. Dead homies, he was gonna tell because he was he was like already like. The, the people that he trusted already threw him under the bus and got his homie killed. Uh, he felt like, like you know what? I'm gonna just tell on everything. So, you know, big useless. He was like, well, let me just try to clean it up. But it was already too late now. You get what I'm saying? Mm, man, this should get deep. It's treacherous. And by the way, I'm gonna play a little bit of devil's advocate. So when it comes to Brick, right? Can it be? Isn't it a possibility that there's another person that might be a street dude that probably gave up the drop or, you know, like, it, it would be shocking to me I that- mean, All we know is what we got. We don't, you know, no, we don't listen, know. Listen, the I only other listen. person it could be would still utilize Brick to do it. And that's the real one. But even him would utilize Brick to, to, do, the, to do that. But do you know the crazy part, because when Brick went to jail, Brick lied to Adam and told Adam that he needed some bail money, right? And so it, Adam, Adam brought, um, bail money to one of the homies, but Brick Baby just used the money to move out the hood to the valley. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Bro, I the that. At that time, I was his savior. He was telling me everything. You know what I'm saying? He like, bro, they've been watching me since March. That's what he said. You feel me? Hold he on, stop. Now, look, act. He did this <laughs> sit down with Blocko in February when he says, at least they, at least they can't say OTF didn't slide no more. Yeah. Right? March, they get on this bumper because he was the first mentioned to the world publicly of an OTS. Loose. You remember when the conversation came up about the Quando thing? What did I tell you and argue you down to? What did I tell you? You was telling me it was like some weed stuff, and I was like, no, it wasn't. I, 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 and I told Luke, you. That's I said, what I told you last night. I thought it was, I, I was like, this new to me. Yeah, no, I was telling on um, Wack, I was like, no, uh, it was the brick thing. You get what I'm saying? Wack swear, but then I was lying. And I was telling him, like, no, because it was that. I know for a fact, because one of the homies hit me. It's, I can't name the other homie because he a solid and he stay off the internet. But wow. I mean, you know, the whole thing was sloppy anyway, you know. What, what, I'm, what, not, what? I'm, I'm not condoning nothing or wishing no, none of nobody, but I mean, if you're going to do something, do it right, bro. You, I mean, come on, bro. Yeah. So, so I guess this is like a larger question right here, right? So let's say, just for the sake of argument, right? I'm still skeptical, but let's say for the sake of argument that uh, co-conspirator, which by the way, I went through all of them. I knew co-conspirator was was Dirk. Co-conspirator 2 is the shooter. I think the shooter's telling. Co-conspirator 3, yeah. that's the person yeah. who got the OTF credit card. Like, all the yeah. flights, flights, hotels, travel, co-conspirator four he got the drop and he's the only one that seems like he ain't flying or nothing and then co-conspirator five apparently he told two where to go because he probably was in communication with four okay but we don't know if he's local or not actually it was said that he's not local so he knows two or not two i'm yeah two uh no not two i mean two is a shooter yeah no 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 he knows four so four is the guy with the drop he's a local guy and he's routing the information because the day they land, Grant comes in on a private jet from Miami. And then the others, they come in on two tickets. By the way, Dirk had tell him, say, hey, listen, he told the booker person, said, don't book nothing under any name I'm connected with. They booked two flights. And one, and um, you had Didi and another guy on one flight, and then you had the other three on the other flight. So everybody get there. And the first day, the uh, co-conspirator four says, Yo, they're down at the hotel. That's the last time I seen Quando. Go check it. They go to the hotel trying to do what they're going to do. They can't find him. The next day, they go back to the hotel. Still don't see him. Co-conspirator 4 hit him and said, yo, they just dipped out. They just dipped out to somebody. Oh, no, no, they dipped out to a clothing place on Melrose. 
They start driving, trying to figure out the clothing place. They finally spot the car, and then the Infinity, which which has had the three shooters in there, they pull into kind of like a little alley area, and, and they they try to do it at the the uh, gas station. So, I mean, when you kind of look at it like that. You kind of get to realize all these co-conspirators, you could kind of almost think what they did. You know what I mean? Whoever three is that was using the credit card. And I mean, right now, Dirk got to know who the person telling. Whoever booked all yeah. y'all fights, you know that's co-conspirator three. We know the boss is one because he said, I, I got money on this guy head. And he also said, hey, if y'all do this, I'm going to give y'all some music opportunities. And then we know two, he hopped out <laughs> the infinity with the other two dudes and did the shoot. So yeah, he's a trigger man. He's killing for record deals, for a man, <laughs> for a chain. So the mm. you know the other dudes got indicted via grand jury, which was they yeah. had that indictment for a couple months. Now remember, I was skeptical that Dirk was getting picked up the same day because his name not, is not on the indictment. We get yeah. to find out. You know how he got arrested? A federal agent phoned into the judge and did a complaint so they're gonna have a grand they're gonna have some type of grand jury stuff on him but they said that they were monitoring Dirk and he had booked the flight to go to Italy and they said oh this is running that's why they locked him up last night yeah they, book, they say it looked like three different flights Switzerland over there. you know the reason why they picked Puffy up Damn. a night early because his plane his jet landed in Peterborough yeah no that's a fact all right there you have it it's such a shame that you know it's such a shame of the things that happen to people who seems to have it all you know you look at certain people and you be like man they got it all why are they still risking you know prison time why are they still risking life sentences just you know why can't they just let certain issues go and you know you never know what another person is thinking but allegedly they saying that you know they was they was trying to get some good ba get back in once little dirk seen that all the other people got round up they said that he was trying to leave the country um a lot of people say p diddy should have tried to leave the country and you know maybe little dirk was like you know what i ain't about to be like p diddy even if i'm innocent it don't look good so let me get up out of here but they caught him in florida and they're gonna transport him to california and you know uh, that, I mean, that's just what it is. We're gonna have more information come out, and there, uh, there's actually some people that believe that Lil Durk is gonna beat this case, and some people believe that the feds do not have enough evidence on him to actually found him to be guilty for his charge. So we're gonna stay on top of this. Let me know what you think. Do you think trying to flee the company, uh, I mean, the country, was a good idea, or do you think he should have stayed, got arrested, so that way they would have known that he wasn't a flight risk? or wouldn't be able to use that against him. Make sure you hit the like, comment, and subscribe button. And remember, no matter what goes on in life, the facts remains the same. There's no gang but tie gang.